Waddle's going to be to the right. It's cover two. What you can't see is the receiver in the middle of the field from the left. On the line of scrimmage, I got to get hands on this guy, on Waddle, before. In perfect ball location. Uh, what a release to beat Emerson to the outside. Teams have a number one receiver and a number two receiver. I designated the Miami Dolphins, Tyreek Hill, number one. A. Actually, good job by Durham Smythe on this. Watch 81. He's a little bit underneath Jalen Waddle when he pivots out. I thought he was going to go up and try and make it. Well, I was down on the field before the game, and I stuck at the Dan Marino, who knows a little bit about quarterback. Armour Davis giving a lot of cushion to Jalen Waddle, and once he gets his hips turned, it's an easy route to get open. This is tough coverage. You see right there in the middle, Greg Newsom. He's playing inside technique. Skylar Thompson is going to give you the ability to extend this play. There's Sauce Gardner with the hold on Jalen Waddle. Still able to break through that. Jalen Waddle runs excellent routes. He pushes it hard. They come off the ball so quick that then when they snap it. Absolutely nothing. Just the speed out here. Good play. Trying to get that line off your screen there. Stands in there and, and takes some hits. This time he's able. Jalen Waddle, number 17, actually working opposite the field. Sees his quarterback in trouble, comes back to help out. Smith, the 45 of the Dolphins. Accurate throw, puts it right on stride. Blessing of having two of the fastest wide receivers in the game. You don't usually see these routes where the wide receiver comes from all the way on the other. Now you have people leaning forward, and right now the zone defense is are just out of whack for the pitch again as those linebackers step up and you can see how deeply you have to play when you're going against Waddle. And Waddle's just going to run right down the middle and Tua's just going to trust. You have a safety over the top but he's just going to trust his receiver. You want to have that ability but when you can run the ball efficiently like they did on that first drive and then come back and turn around and have this type of play as your first play of your second drive well, this is exactly what I was talking about. Watch Waddle come off, and he's just going, going, pressing, pressing, and then snaps it off. Look at how wide open he is because of the speed and because of the quickness of Tua recognizing and getting rid of the ball. For New England, they pick up 17. And he can create, and he makes a nice play, but third and 22 is a lot to ask, even for a Jalen Waddle. See him, he's screaming at him before the snap. So there down. he is in the middle, and he splits the two of them. Slows down for the ball and turns on the afterburners. Caught him flat-footed. Look at the break on this football inside. I thought there was... If that... Just an excellent throw and well-timed to beat the blitz. In completion by Tua. Jalen Waddle with the double move a little out and up, and it gets Patrick Queen to bite on that out move. Tua Tonga Vailoa drops it right in between in front of the safety. Able to make that catch and then the move. In this passing game as well, there was an opportunity to kind of check it down out to the left and maybe get a catch and run opportunity. Watch him come up and come across. They run a clear out route and then he comes underneath in that intermediate space and it's exactly. And when they talked to us about Juju Hughes, they said, yeah, Deshaun Elliott, he's, he's a thumper. He's a big safety. He said, Hugh, not as big that you create opportunities for Waddle. It was Waddle early in this season with Tunga Vailoa that... Keep your eye on Brisker here. He's going to be in position with Kasiki coming up, but it's the play that comes over the top where, where Waddle is actually working his way in there. And I thought when, it, when this ball was thrown, I thought Brisker had an interception. I thought he was going to come up and grab it. But Waddle came back to the ball. You have Ingold, who's going to come in motion and go down this sideline. You go down the sideline, you're going to impact, put a player in conflict. The corner doesn't know, should he wait outside or go to the inside where the speed is? Mike McDaniel adding that as part of his play. The hard run fake to the inside. Waddle recognizing the zone. Waddle's going to come inside on the slant, and he's just going to split three safeties. He's going to hit three, switch split three players this quick flash fake is what draws the linebackers up they freeze thinking it may be a run that allows waddle to get to that second level against the rookie armor davis waddle's going to be right here in the slot he does a little out and in well surfield was coming in motion he went to the flat that drew the underneath covers and waddle finds a 
a space as Ingram was trying to run with him up the field and, and Tonga Vailoa throws it over to the sideline. It is just so tough. You're trying to get enough of a pass rush, then you drop back in the zone coverage, and you get a guy like Wallace.